then we're out here on Canal Street just lifting up the name of Jesus. Right now we're standing here at the, the trolley stop where people get on and off of the streetcars and you know there's so many opportunities just to, to pray for people and share the gospel. I just want to let you guys know that Jesus is alive just today just like he is all the time and, and that people are getting set free so keep us in prayer. Hey folks, this is Pastor Troy, right here with Brother Stacy Billy. Uh, we're just right out here on Royal Street near uh, Bourbon, and walked up, and he was coming up the street, and uh, man, this was just a divine appointment, wasn't it, brother? Yes, it was. And, uh, and I'm believing this is going to be a testimony that you and I are going to look at this years later and say, man, that's where it started coming together. Kind of just share your testimony real quick, where you were, and what happened today, and what you believe God's doing. Well, I got to tell you, you know, I lost everything in my life, and I just recently buried my mother. And God blessed me with a job because I quit my job last year. I lost it all. I was in a train accident. And I was in a wheelchair, blind for three years. God has done nothing but never left me or forsake me. I can say that. And, you know, his word is true. Everything he said, Pastor, is true, you know. And just like it says, when I ask him how much he loves me every day, he says, Stacy, I died for Right. And Pastor, huh, that right there, and that blood he shed on that cross for me, come on, and you, and every other living soul, I'm only going to be wishing and hoping and praying for one thing that day, Pastor, that I've done my best of what the Lord wanted me to do, to put another jewel in my crown to witness to another soul. To help them join God's army. Yeah, you were telling me that God had obviously delivered, delivered you even from a heroin addiction. He delivered me from a heroin addiction. In fact, I was addicted to heroin for over 10 years. And one morning, I got up, and it was on Sunday, by the way, Pastor. And my adult man called me, and he said, look, he said, um, I've got an 80 set if you want it. Uh, it's the last one. And then my grandmother called me right while I was on the phone with him. Got there praying woman. I said, hold on, man. So I answered the phone and grandma said, look, will you go to church with me? Well, I definitely wasn't going to church with Holy Christ. We're talking about spirit-filled Holy I'm Ghost. I'm talking about spirit, Holy Ghost, filled God. Fire and bread, filled, preaching the Intervene word. Intervene right then and there right. on the phone. Right. And I clicked over and told my boy, look, my grandmama needs me today to go to church with her. And I'll talk to you later. And the $80 I was going to buy the heroin with, and I ain't, and I ain't picked it up since. I put it in the office, wait. Amen. I gave it to Jesus. Amen, my brother. I gave it to God. And That's guess it. what? That day, that day, this is what's phenomenal, Pastor Tom. Ever since that day, the $80 that I put in the offering plate that I was going to buy heroin with, I haven't had a craving for it ever since. Praise and I quit cold turkey. God took it from me that day. Amen. That day. Yeah. Okay, okay, so since then, God opened up a door. You just got a job. You yes. start tomorrow. Yes. Start tomorrow, a crane operator, making a yes. good way. Yeah, yes, yes. Getting right back where you need to be, back in that word, back in prayer. Yes. Back preaching the truth, the gospel. Yeah. I want to, I want to, I, I, I just want to, um, I just want to do whatever God has for me to do, Pastor Troy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, of course, my, my, my papa was a pastor, like I told you. And I had two uncles in my family that were pastors and uh, evangelists. Yeah. You know, I just want to do the work of the Lord, because you know what? There's not one time my father hadn't told me, no son, why should I tell him no man right. when I need him the most? And he ain't no compromise in Jesus. And I know this, brother, and guess what? He knows his heart, brother. He knows Stacy Bill got I promise you. Amen. Coach I Mark this right here on this day, this Tuesday afternoon, Stacy Billy says, listen, I gotta get home, I gotta get back to Christ. That's right. He's he sent left the ninety nine and he's he's come to the one and there's rejoicing today because the brother has said, Listen, enough's enough. Man, I believe that God has been answering prayers, he's sending people into my path. 
to, to remind me is a wake-up call. And brother, I believe this is the first day of that restoration that God's going to use you to do mighty things for his kingdom. Sure you are, Chris. Amen, my brother. He's a songwriter, too. Next time, we'll have to have him uh, share one of the songs. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs>